Hi, so this question is elimination game. So you are giving the integer, and so this is going to be um, represent a array from one to n in sorted, right? In sorted in ascending order, which is increasing order, right? So this is constraint. So you don't start it from the left to right, and then you want to remove the first number and every other numbers afterward until you reach the end of the list, right? And then you want to repeat it again. But this time it's going to be right to left and it's going to remove most number and every other number from the remaining numbers. And I do, do that until the size is actually one, which is going to be only one number that, that remain. And it, basically this is the question. So let's just talk about um, the algorithm. It's actually pretty, pretty neat to be honest. And then, so I'm going to just use the example one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right. So first thing is I want I want to delete the number from the starting till the end, and then every single other number, right? So one, and then two I will skip. Three, four, four I will skip. Five, six I will skip. Seven, eight I will skip. Nine. So this is the first traversal. So the current array becomes what? 2, 4, 6, and 8. All right. This might be something that you might uh, observe, but I'm going to keep continuing. So again, the size is still what? 4, right? I, I need to return only a single number, which is going to be a 1, right? And then in this time, I'm going to remove from the end to the beginning, right? From, from the right to, to the left. So, 8, I will remove, 6, I will skip, 4, I will remove, right, 2, I will skip. So the current size is actually 2 and the value of 2 and 6, right. So the size is still 2, I'm going to try this again. So this is all the way to the beginning, uh, from, from beginning to the end, and this is all the way from the end to the beginning, and this time it's going to be this, right. So you will remove 2. And the last value is going to be 6. All right. So I'm going to use this as an example. But I'm in, in this um, solution, I'm going to talk about what is the you know, solution behind. So let's look at it. So if you know like this, so the first traversal, once you remove, right, this become the head, right? This become the head. And then in this traversal, right, 2 is still the head. 2 is still the head. Alright, 6, 6 is the head for this one, right? Because you remove, right? So what does actually tell you? So if the value, so when you traverse from left to right, left to right, this is the value you you, uh, you update, right? So from right to left, the value over here is going to be the same as this one. So the head doesn't remove. All right, so this is the one trick. So another trick is what? So imagine our head is starting from one, right? Head definitely start head, head. So the original head is one, right? And then the step is going to be one, 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 one. So this is this is the difference between two numbers is what one, right? So this is step of one. All right, this one, this is step of two, right? Step of two, right? This is step of four, right? And this is this on number left, so it doesn't matter. So let's look, a, look about this pattern. One, two, four. So what is the number is going to be? Eight. Well, probably, right? We we still going to have to uh, we still going to have to find out what are the numbers for this one. But it, it looks like this pattern is actually pretty straightforward. You say 2 to 0, 2 to 1, 2 to 2, 2 to 3, something like this, right? Alright, so uh, since we're not going to, you know, make an example for this arbitrary, you know, n equal to uh, 40 or 50, and then we do the uh, example again. Now we're not going to do that. We just use this example to observe the process, right? Alright, so from left to, from left to right, right, uh, we update ahead. We update the head. But how do we update the head? We're starting from one as a head, right? And then we know the step. We have to know the step. So step is going to be what? Times two. And then what? 
2 times 2 is 4, right? 4 times 2 is going to be 8, right? So, um, for every single iteration, like for every single iteration, um, we are going to times 2 for the step. So we know step is going to be multiplied by 2. And then I'm, I'm, I have to, I have to make sure my head is update when I have left to right traversal. In this turn is actually mean when, so this is the one, this is nine number, right? So it's odd, right? This is even number, and this is even number. However, this is still left to right. So in this case, that odd and even are pretty, you know, um, straightforward. Now we need to update the head, right? So these are two constraints. If you're starting from left to right, if the length is even, you need to update the head. If you're starting from left to right and then you know your total number for the for, for the for the numbers are all num uh, all number which is gonna be you know you multiply by two and you still you still equal to one right and then and then how do you know the size? So this is size nine, right? Size size come on, this color size nine divided by two you get size four Divide by two, you get size two. Divide by uh, divide by two, you get size one, right? Um, so again, we we will definitely you know eliminate um, one number and every other number from the remaining number. So it's going to be a pretty straightforward. Um, like if you want to just divide by two for every single iteration, All right? So let's just start coding. I'm going to um, definitely explain when while I'm coding this. So I'm going to have a boolean for left. I'm just going to say equal to true because definitely you're going to start it from left to right in the beginning. And then remains, remains represent the size of the um, element in the array, basically. But we only need a size, a step equal to 1 and head equal to 1. So how do we keep traversal? So when the remain is greater than 1, right? So think about this, when it remains greater than 1, we're still going to traverse from left to right or right to left, right? So if left, again, if left, then I need to make sure I update the head. So head will become head plus that, right? So this is how you need to make sure like, uh, you can do this, it's still going to be the same, right? So you want to update based on that. Or the remain mod by 2, is equal to odd, right? Even, oh uh, sorry, odd, which is one, right? And then remain will definitely divide by two every single time. Step will definitely multiply by two every single time. And then the left will just, you know, negate uh, itself. So I know left to right is going to be, you know, um, left is going to be true, right, in the first iteration. But at the end of well, loop, I'm going to negate. It's going to be false when I re reassign, right? And then last but not least, just return the word head. So head is the value that you want to return. So this is actually not about the algorithm, but it's about the math, to be honest. So um, if you don't understand, that's fine. Like nobody actually, you know, force force you to do this question for sure. But this something is like beyond algorithm. It's just about the math and logic. So what's the time and space for this one? So space is going to be constant. Time, uh, if you look at this guy, it's going to be based on what? n, right? So it's going to be log base 2 n. And this will be the time and the space is going to be constant. And if you have any question, leave a comment and I'll see you next time. Bye.